What is a college football hill that you are willing to die on? I'll start. If it wasn't for Texas and the Longhorn Network, traditional college football would still be alive. But first, let's do a little rewind in history. If you have never seen this before, behold the infamous Pac-16. In the years between 2009 and 2010, the Pac-10 was set to expand. They really wanted to take some members from the Big 12. Most notably Colorado and Texas, but Texas wouldn't go unless they included other Texas schools. You can obviously imagine how the Big 12 members felt about the Pac-10 trying to take their members. The result was it sent almost every single Big 12 school into a frenzy. There were ongoing talks about which six Big 12 schools the Pac-10 was going to take, and ultimately, Colorado was worried that Texas was going to push for Baylor to be in the Pac-10, the new Pac-16, instead of Colorado. So, to equal that, Colorado applied for Pac-10 membership before Texas got all of its schools on board. The next day, Nebraska applied for Big Ten membership and was granted. After Nebraska and Colorado left, it paved the way for Texas to create the Longhorn Network. This new network sent shockwaves throughout college football. This proved to ultimately be the last straw for Texas A&M and Missouri, and they filed for membership for the SEC a few months after the creation of the Longhorn Network. Fast forward to 2021, most of the members had just accepted by this point that Texas was going to run the conference. However, Texas once again put itself above the Big 12 Conference and left for the SEC with Oklahoma. But I truly believe if it wasn't for Texas and their massive ego that we would still have the traditional college football that we had in the early 2010s. Let me know what your college football hill is in the comments.